All right, let's make sure we change some more settings of our page. And for that, I'm going to go to project settings. And first of all, I am going to enable Google Analytics. Now, Google Analytics helps us to track users on our website and see what kind of traffic we are getting. And I'm going to make it a bit more privacy friendly. And I, as you can see, I have a Google Analytics account. You can sign up for free and they give you these tracking codes. And if you copy paste that tracking code in here, Webflow is going to integrate it into the website for us. So let's hit save. And you can see there are some more things we can integrate. For example, Facebook pixels, which again allow you to track users. It's not super privacy friendly. So I'm avoiding that. Also, Google Analytics is not the best thing to do, but it's a great and cheap option. And if you want to integrate Google Maps or other options, you can definitely do so here. Now, this is saved. And in order to make sure that this is actually working, I'm going to publish it again. And once this is published, this Google Analytics tracking code should be working. Now, the other thing I want to change is I want to change those icons here. And those icons correlate to the icons you currently see on top in your browser, in your tab. They should say the name of the website and it should show this favicon next to it. Now, I uploaded those favicons quickly and all I did in order to create them is I took an emoji and then um, saved it as a, a PNG file and then edited the, the file to match exactly these settings here, 32 by 32 pixels and 256 by 256 pixels. And basically this favicon is going to be displayed in your browser. And this web clip is if somebody decides to save your website onto their home screen on their mobile phone then they will take this logo and this is the logo it's gonna should be displaying. Now again, let's publish this page and then reload everything and we should now be able to see this favicon. And what might happen is that you need to, there we go. For me, it's loading now. Um, Sometimes what might uh, might happen is that you need to restart your browser because it could happen that the browser cached the old favicon, which was the Webflow logo so far. Now, the last thing I want to do is I want to enable hosting. And if we enable hosting, I want to make sure that we enable this CMS hosting. And that allows us to then add a custom domain name for our website and change some more features here. Now, you might say you only want to keep free hosting and that's perfectly fine. However, I want to really encourage you if you want to have a professional website to consider swapping to paid hosting. First of all, you want to have a professional domain name and don't want to rely on a .webflow.io domain name. If you really intend to make business or want to have a professionally looking website. Second of all, we can then remove this made in Webflow reference at the bottom. And we can increase the hosting capabilities, meaning that it's loaded even faster. And we can use our own domain name to set up emails so that you can be reached under an email using your own domain name or as well as send those MailChimp emails from an email coming from the domain name you recently set up. Webflow hosting is not the cheapest hosting out there, but it's certainly one of the fastest. And if you want to have a professional website, that loads quickly, looks good and works everywhere, I think it's definitely a worthwhile investment to do.